my dear students this is not only william blake's most famous poem but one of the great poem in english language the first thing we notice in this poem is unusual spelling of the word tiger although dr samuel johnson mentioned it as an alternative form of the more common spelling tiger when we speak tiger it is not as powerful as the word tiger 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 burning bright blake's spelling conveys a unique feeling william blake's spelling of this word t y g e r conveys a unique feeling in this context it is important to remember that for william blake a poem is not a group of words presented in linear fashion on a page but it is a poem is a visual object visual object you can see you can feel his engraving and paintings are integral part of his verbal art thus a poem by william blake is meant to be seen and read only then is its full impact felt seen and read you have to read and you have to see imagine that means audio visual you have to read only then is its full impact felt then only you can if you have the imagination within and you can feel the tiger either the tiger within your inner self or the tiger in the forest if you have seen and when you realize yourself and then read each word you will feel very powerful because this poem enables you to be brave bold and powerful like tiger you are not the child of now fifth or sixth class you are not a primary student you are not a student of eighth or ninth class or tenth class you are not even 11th or 12th you have come to the degree college so my dear friends this poem develops your inner spirit built your talent and enables you to know your inner potential his engraving and paintings are integral part of his verbal art thus a poem by william blake is meant to be seen and read only then is its full impact felt so the unconventional spelling reinforces our sense of wonder at the beauty fierceness and strength of tiger so who is the tiger you may think you may start thinking amra keno porchi ei kavita amar porashonar pore labh ki hobe keno porchi amra ei kavita ei tiger kavita porar pore amar labh ki ki bolate chaichi ei kavita amake ki shokti dite chaichi that you have to understand this poem wants you to be beautiful wondrous personality full of potential fearfulness bold brave and having strength within as so this the unconventional spelling reinforces our sense of wonder remember un so the unconventional spelling not t i g e r tiger it is t y g e r tiger tiger burning bright this so the unconventional spelling reinforces our sense of wonder at the beauty fierceness strength of the tiger and you have to be brave bold powerful having a lot of potential within and to bring out the change in the world you have to be such a great personality otherwise this world will eat you away you have to be brave enough bold enough powerful enough and fight with the world at every step our astonishment is expressed through a series of 14 questions in a span of 24 short lines 11 of these questions are fired rapidly in the first 16 lines in the four stanzas the poet attempts to augment the reader's sense of wonder progressively by asking a series of rhetorical questions on the extra ordinary powers required for creating an animal like tiger creating an animal like tiger so my dear friends my dear students maharaja bir bikram college maharaja bir bikram university wants to make you powerful personality 
powerful dignity like tiger beautiful fierce fearlessness and where the mind is without fear and the heart is held high the knowledge is free and the words come out from the depth of truth means this poem wants to make you be strong enough in this first four stanzas the poet attempts to augment the reader's sense of wonder progressively by asking a series of rhetorical questions on the external powers required for creating an animal like the tiger the creator must possess the same qualities to be able to produce such a creature the nature of the tiger as a lionel trading says is defined by the nature of god the nature of the tiger as a lionel trailing the critic he says the the creator must possess the same qualities to be able to produce such a creator such a creature the nature of the tiger as lionel trailing says is defined by the nature of god in the last two stanzas there is a reversal of this procedure god is defined by the nature of the tiger god who created a meek and mild creature like the lamb there to create the ferocious tiger god who created a meek covered and mild creature like lamb he that god also created the very powerful brave bold strong ferocious tiger earlier we saw that the tiger must be a brave bold and powerful the child the jis the child the tiger and the poet three of them are very strong the god is also very powerful and strong and the child is also very powerful and strong because he has to become the he is a tomorrow's president of india tomorrow's prime minister of india tomorrow's chief minister of tripura tomorrow's education minister of tripura or what not so my dear friends the nature of the tiger is the nature of the tiger as leonard trilling says is defined by the nature of god in the last two stanzas there is a reversal of this procedure god is defined by the nature of the tiger god who created a meek and mild creature like the lamb there to create the ferocious tiger the tiger the child and the poet three of they are very brave bold powerful and having a lot of potential that such a god created the tiger is not comprehensible uh, comprehensible to the stars who are the agent of the divine law as william blake himself suggests it is the contrary state of soul the lamb and the tiger represents two aspects of god and two states of man the second effect of the poems are striking the second effect in the poem the second effects in the poem are striking the meter employed is trochaic tetrameter which is itself which which is itself an unusual form there is a good deal of alliteration and assonance the diphthongs ai in tiger recurs throughout the poem the poem may be explained in terms of creation myth and the problems of good and evil in the world what baffles man is that a kind of god who created a mild lamb also created the ferocious tiger it is incredible did he who made the lamb made thee the book of job in the bible raises the same question the poem is a fine example of compression the question at the end of the stanza lack of work and when the heart began to beat what dread hand what dread feet this is the revised draft blake must have felt that the fragment is forceful enough and that is underscores the tone of exclamation in one sense the tiger is a simple and enjoyable poem it raises the common question how do you account for the forces of good and evil in the universe the victory of the good over the evil we know that even ravinath tagore also said victory to the man the new born the our lady how do you account for the force of the good and the evil in the universe william blake's tiger has a dual aspect it is both beautiful and terrible the tiger is also beautiful and terrible 
when we see a cobra a snake also we looks that it's a beautiful but again we find it's a terrible too same way sometimes you find that the most beautiful is the most terrible william blake's tiger has a dual aspect it is both beautiful and terrible as a repetitive phrase fearful symmetry suggest you should also remember that william blake turns from from the tiger to an examination of the nature of the creator did he smile his work to see did he smile his work to see did he who made the lamb made thee kya wo khush hua hoga tumhe banakar did he smile his work to see jab tumhe banaya hoga jisne tujhe banaya hoga kya tujhe banane ke baad wo khush hua hoga did he who made the lamb made thee tera banane wala bhi kya wohi hai jisne मेमने को बनाया बकरी के बच्चे को बनाया भेड़ के बच्चे को बनाया उसने टाइगर को बनाया देर आर एलिशन इन दैकेंड स्टांचर टू डेरिंग अटेम्प्ट इन मिथोलॉजी टू चैलेंज गॉड ऑन वॉट विंग्स डेयर ही एस्पायर ऑन वॉट विंग्स डेयर ही एस्पायर इज ए रेफरेंस टू द इकार फ्लाइंग हाई टूवर्ड्स द सन द क्रिएटर ऑफ द टाइगर हु हैड बर्निंग फायर इन हिज आईज मस्ट हैड स्ट्रॉगर विंग्स दैन इकार विंग्स ज्वाइन बाय बैक्स which melted due to the heat of the sun in the very next time line there is another question what the hand dare sees the fire this is reference to the prometheus stealing fire from heaven for mankind's benefit these two acts of daring and courage are outdone in the creation of the tiger so my dear friends once again we'll see the poem tiger in fact i cannot interact with you as we, i we used to interact in the classroom because this is online and due to this corona covid 19 we all are missing each other and we are not able to have the effective teaching learning process my dear friends i will request you stay home stay safe don't come out of your house till the lockdown is there and follow the guidelines of the government the tiger 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 burning bright in the forest of the night in the forest of the night raat mein jangal mein tiger chamak raha hai tiger kahan chamak tiger tiger burning bright so what is burning bright the eyes of the tigers are seen that burning bright in the forest in the night itself you might have seen most of the time under your cot in the night when light goes off if you have a cat your cat eyes keep on burning and you can find out that your cat is hiding under your bed the same way the poet encountered the poet saw the tiger in the forest hiding under the bushes in the forest but through the eyes that uh burning eyes tiger tiger burning bright in the forest of the night in the next question is what hand in Immo- what immortal hand or eye could frame thy fearful symmetry khuda bhi aasma se जब जमी पर देखता होगा इस टाइगर को किसने बनाया सोचता होगा इन वट वट इमोटल हैंड वो अमर हाथ किसका था हुज इमोटल हैंड वॉज इट हुज इमोटल हैंड वॉज इट आईज वर इट कौन था वो जिसकी ये अमर आंखें थी और कौन था वो जिसके अमर हाथ थे जिसने कुछ बनाया जिसने सारा जगत बनाया जिसने तारों को चमकाया जिसने सूरज को चमकाया हम उस ईश्वर के गुण गाए उसे प्रेम से सीस नवाए वट इमोटल हैंड और आई कुड फ्रेम द फियरफुल सिमेट्री कौन है वो वो कितना पावरफुल होगा जिसने तुझे बनाया होगा इन वट डिस्टेंट डीप और स्काइज कहां बनाया होगा किस जगह बनाया होगा ए टाइगर इट्स एड्रेस टू द टाइगर कहां बनाया तुझे इन वो डिस्टेंट डीप्स इन द हेल्थ 
the tiger was created in the hell or it was created in the heaven where the poet has a question such a powerful bold ferocious figure was created by whom and when in what distant deeps means hell or skies heaven burned the fire of thine eyes mari aankhon ki in roshni ko chalaya on what wings dare he aspire aur tumhe banane ke baad wo kaise udh kar gaya my dear friends during the durga puja you prepare mother goddess and you make idol of the lion also and you have prepared during durga puja before the puja even before the puja and suppose if you pray to the mother goddess mahalakshmi mahakali mahasaraswati or mother durga goddess durga ma mere is tiger mein jeevan de do aur agar wo tiger zinda ho gaya to sabse pehle kisko khayega kis par aakraman karega that means jisne banaya hai wo us tiger se powerful hona chahiye and he says in what distant deep or skies burnt the fire of thine eyes on what wings dare he aspire what the hand dare sees the fire what the hand dare sees the fire us agni ko control mein karne wala kaun hai that means the god is most powerful the same way my dear students you should also feel that your parents or the god who has created you because you have seen your parents only have created you so they are no less powerful though you are also powerful and you will be more powerful than your parents but if you are powerful your parents are also powerful if your parents are powerful you are also powerful in what distant deeps or skies burned the fire of thine eyes on what wings dare he aspire what the hand dare sees the fire and what soul the kandhe iske the kaun tha and what soldier and what art wo kala kiski thi jisne banaya who is that creator who has created you who is as powerful the soldiers were as powerful could twist the sneeze of thy heart could could twist the sneeze of thy heart and when thy heart began to beat aur jab tumhare dil mein dhak dhak hone lagi tumhe banane ke baad jab tumhare andar ek jeevan paida ho gaya aur tumne apni maa kali se जीवन मांगा उस अपने टाइगर के लिए एंड वेन दई हार्ट बिगेन टू बीट वॉट ड्रीड हैंड एट वॉट ड्रीड फीट तो वो पैर और वो हाथ जो भैसे थे या कैसे थे या वो भयानक कौन था तो भगवान था पावरफुल था टाइगर से या कमजोर था वॉट द हैमर जिस हथौड़े से तुझे बनाया वो कौन सा है वो कौन सा है बोलो बोलो वट द हैमर वो हथौड़ा कौन सा है वट द चैन वो चैन कौन सी है दीज आर द क्वेश्चन द पॉइंट इज पॉइंट इज हैविंग दिस क्वेश्चन वट द हैमर वट द हैमर वट द चेन इन वट फॉरनेस वॉज दाई ब्रेन और जिस भट्टी में तुम्हारा सर रखा गया वो भट्टी कौन सी है वट द फॉरनेस वॉज दाई ब्रेन वट फॉरनेस इन वट फॉरनेस वॉज दाई ब्रेन what the hammer what the chain in what furnace was thy brain what the anvil or jis lohe ke us anvil par peet peet kar tumhe jaise lohar jaise lohar lohe ko hathode se peet peet kar banata hai theek usi tarah tumhe kaise peet peet kar banaya hoga guru kumhar shishya kumbh hai gad gad kaadhe khot antar hath saar de bahar mare cho गुरु कुम्हार शिष्य कुंभ है गुरु कुम्हार शिष्य कुंभ है सो माई डियर फ्रेंड वट द हैमर वट द चेन इन वट फर्नेस वॉज द ब्रेन वट द एनविल वॉट द एनविल वट ड्रीड ग्रैस देयर इट्स डेडली टेर क्लास एंड वो हथौड़ा कौन सा था जिसने बनाया वो चेन कौन सी थी जिसने बनाया उस भट्टी में जिसमें तुम्हें गर्म करके जैसे लोहार लोहे को भट्टी में गर्म करता है गरम करने के बाद हथौड़े से पीट पीट कर उससे नया आकार बनाता है उससे टाइगर बनाता है दुर्गा की मूर्ति सोने की या चांदी की या लोहे की बनाता है वो 
इनवर्ट फर्नेस और किस भट्टी में उसको दिया जाता है और किस पर पीट पीट कर वो बनाता है वो ड्रीड ग्रिस डेयर द डेडली क्रेस उस बनाने के बाद वैन द स्टार्स थ्रू डाउन दियर्स एंड वॉटर्ड हैवन विद दियर टीयर्स and what had happened with their tears did he smile his work to see did he smile his work to see did he who made the lamb made the my dear friend try to understand this beautiful line of the poet this beautiful stanza when the stars threw down their spears jab raat ke samay aasman mein when in the night from the sky the dew drops keep on falling on the grass blades what it is what is the imagination that means you might have seen when somebody when a mother gives a birth to a child and after seeing and feeling a lot of pain the mother feels very happy to see the child the same with the poet is saying over here when the stars threw down their spears in the night time when the stars threw down their spears spears means the rays the starry rays falling on the ground and watered heaven with the tears and the tears of the happiness keep on falling on the grass it means the next question poet is asking did he smile is work to see kya wo khush hua tha apne kaam ko dekh kar khuda bhi aasman se jab zameen par dekhta hoga mere is tiger ko kisne banaya sochta hoga aur us sochne mein khush hokar apne aansu bahata hoga Did he smile his work to see? Did he who made the lamb made thee? क्या ये वही है जिसने lamb को बनाया उसी ने तुझे बनाया? मेरे प्यारे दोस्तों ये कविता तुम्हें strong, brave, bold और powerful बनाना चाहती है जैसे तुम्हारे parents तुम्हें कमजोर नहीं बनाना चाहते तुम्हें शक्तिशाली बनाना चाहते हैं तुम्हें powerful बनाना चाहते हैं तुम्हें ज्ञान की बुद्धि की वो शक्ति देना चाहते हैं जैसा कहते हैं बेटी पढ़ाओ बेटी बचाओ वो शक्ति देना चाहते हैं शिक्षा की वो शक्ति देना चाहते हैं एनसीसी के पावर की जिसमें बेटियां बंदूक चलाना सीखती हैं वो शक्ति देना चाहते हैं उस गोलियों की जो एक सोल्जर और सिपाही बनाकर आपको आगे बढ़ाना चाहते हैं वो शक्ति देना चाहते हैं जो आपको ऐसी कविताओं को पढ़ने के बाद एक नई शक्ति एक नया जोश एक नई उमंग एक नई भावना जब आपके अंदर पैदा होती हो तो आपके शिक्षक और आपके पेरेंट्स आपको पावरफुल बनाना चाहते हैं वो आपको सदा कमजोर रहना देखना नहीं चाहते एंड द सेम विद गॉड इज आल्सो फीलिंग वेरी हैप्पी व्हेन द स्टार्स टू डाउन द स्पीयर्स व्हेन द स्टार्स टू डाउन द स्पीयर्स एंड वाटर्ड हेवन विद देयर टीयर्स डिड ही स्माइल हिज वर्क टू सी डिड ही हु मेड द लैंब मेड दी क्या ये वही है जिसने तुम्हें बनाया उसी ने लैंब को भी बनाया tiger tiger burning bright in the forest of the night tiger tiger burning bright in the forest of the night what immortal hand or eye dare frame thy fearful symmetry tiger tiger burning bright in the forest of the night the tiger eyes are burning in the forest at the night time and the poet can find out what immortal hand or eye who is that person who made you or what is that hand who, which has created you or what is that eye which has made you such a brave bold powerful and courageous dare frame the fearful symmetry such a powerful such a bold such a uh, potential oriented personality made by the god and by your parents so my dear friends the aim of this poem is to enable the student to be brave bold powerful uniquely smart active and to face all the hurdles 
of the society and feel that the parents are also trying to make them powerful, the teachers are also trying to make them very powerful and these questions which have been given in the poem are no very less significant, they are highly significant and I feel that you might have learned. I would request all of you to read this poem at least five times. You see here, tiger, tiger, the word is used twice and the its alliteration figures of speech, burning, bright again, burning and bright, the BB, again the alliteration figures of speech have been used. In the forest of the night, what immortal hand or eye could frame thy tearful symmetry in what distant, deep or skies? Again, distant and deep. Then we find here the images of the hell, the images of heaven too. Distant, deep means the hell and the sky means the heaven. Burn the fire of thine eyes. Over here we find uh, that a, a blacksmith is working, sitting in front of the furnace and putting his iron rod and then giving the shape to that. The same way, Guru Kumhar, Shishya Kumbh hai, Gad Gad Kaad hai Kaur, Gad Gad Kaad hai Kaur, Antar Haat Sahar De, Bahar Mare Chor. The teacher is like a sculptor who makes out of the clay a very good urn, but for that he has to scold sometimes, he has to uh, make the students to feel that you are not doing uh, this thing right, so please try to come to the right track and your parents also keep on saying you that you are not going on the right track. Please try to come to the right track and follow the good things. Don't follow the evil. Don't go to, uh, uh, don't go to the terrorist kind of activities or other drug kind of activities. Do the good things in the society. A lot of good things can be done by you. And I would like to tell you one more thing. Laksh agar pakka hai bande, manchil teri dur nahi, tu se dur nahi, or wo se dur nahi. You must have that spirit. So my dear friends, this is uh, the very important poem. The questions may be on this poem. Uh, critically appreciate the poem, The Tiger. Or uh, do you think that tiger is a symbolical poem? Or find out the symbols in the poem, The Tiger. So please read at least five times this poem. Thank you very much to all of you. Thanks a lot, my dear students.